<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What up homies, your boys coming at you with another vlog and look what we got to start the day here. That perp! That perp! Huge shout out to David, he sent us out six monsters from David the US. Marsh, right? Yeah, David Marsh, he's a what beauty. What a beauty. If he's but, uh, in the comments, make sure to give him some likes or whatever. Should we make a P.O. box? A lot of people want to send us stuff. Comment down below if you, you know, send us anything. As long uh, as it's not a... Uh, <laughs> A hamster, you know? Yeah, that's it. If you guys don't know, Kyle actually has a really weird paranoia of hamsters. He's really scared of them. They freak him the heck out. So stay away from that. <laughs> uh, what should I bring here? So one of my favorite things ever, if you guys don't know, is when people message us all the time saying what is wrong with you promoting energy drinks is so unhealthy. We don't drink energy drinks every day. We have them here and there a couple times a week. And usually my number one thing to say back to people is what exactly is wrong with them. Nobody has anything to go. It's a lot of caffeine. Yeah, so no one ever answers when they do that. It makes no sense. I'm saying, tell me one thing. And we made a really good video. We used a lot of peer-reviewed research. Really, eh. I really recommend checking that out. First uh, link in the description. Check out that video if you haven't already. Understand a bit behind it. But if you guys truly believe they're bad for you, try to tell me why and give me a good argument. Always happy to debate it. All right, let's do it. All right. Jokes? <laughs> wow. Buddy, I need that cardio. For those of you that don't know, I just graduated here last week. This is where I went to school. We usually chill around here because it's got a bunch of stuff for us to do, a bunch of food places. It's what we know, so we came back. Pretty excited, and uh, yeah, if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, Snapchat, we usually post those things there. It is beautiful here in this little courtyard thing. It's kind of like a mini uh, Central Park for my school. The best thing about downtown, guys, if you don't know, if you don't live downtown, is you walk everywhere. So you're very active, and that's one thing I really miss. You've definitely been sitting more than we should, eh? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> but it's nice, you know, like, you get point A, point B, it's like 15 minutes, but everything's in a 15 minute radius. It's been a while since we've been back in Nando's. Doesn't get any better than that. What'd you get, bro? What'd you order? Chicken pitas, fries, and sweet potatoes. And uh, I got my classic vanilla coke. The flexibility dough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you guys aren't doing it, you're missing out because Nando's is amazing as always. So about the lack of content lately, especially the vlogs, I feel like we've been really slacking more or less. I think we've been too obsessed with trying to make everything perfect and have a huge theme and be a complete banger, but we realize we just want to document more, take you through our lives, go back to the roots of why we do this, which is to help everyone out. Hopefully every video you learn something. Uh, we really like to say we're infotainment, so we're really proud of and something we've built ourselves off of. We want to continue growing that route and just really having fun with it too. Like it's great just to document your day and show you guys around, kind of get some of our insight, let you guys know what we think, how we feel. And we really appreciate everything you guys have done, all the support and all the support going forward. But we're going to be back on this vlog game, making sure we're killing it and crushing the gym, walking you through that. And smash out this meal, have a nice back workout, which we'll also go through. So uh, let's get it. Thanks, oh, buddy. that Nando's love. Cobbs. A little bit of protein, a little bit of veggie, and then nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> For the nonsense, you feel me? This place makes me so happy. Rolled up to the gym, thought I had all my stuff. Here I am in my t-shirt and my cargo shorts. Rookie mistake, but at the end of the day, a lot of people come, they do something like that. Be like, I'm not even gonna work out today. I'm gonna look like an idiot. I know I look like an idiot, I accept that. But at the end of the day, I came to work out. You gotta get that done. Put those excuses behind. Uh, comment down below what the weirdest thing you've had to wear in the gym because you forgot. I wore winter boots and jeans once. It's probably my all-time low. They actually told me I can't be doing that and they're like, I know boots are cool to wear in the gym. I'm like, what? I didn't do this on purpose. I know Kyle's got a story too. Yeah, so a couple of years ago I wore, I had I think sweatpants and like these classy boots. I'll probably put a photo Dress right shoes, here. weren't they? Yeah, dress shoes basically. And uh, I remember I was like, man, I'm going home. I cannot do this. This is so weird. Josh is like, results or excuses, man. You gotta work out. You, you can't, can't have both, you, you know what I mean? Both, man. You gotta choose results or excuses. So I'm like, man, whatever, just get it done. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll 
Tree climber. So going back to that little talk we had in the gym, guys, we are all wired to do the things that make us most feel most comfortable, and we're wired to stay away from the things that kind of challenge us. So as weird as that little reference is to wearing like your clothes in the gym and kind of looking a bit weird, like when you do feel comfortable, oftentimes it's leading to further success and further growth. Like no matter what it is, just stepping out of your comfort zone, it's always very important. So if you're ever feeling that moment where you kind of like feel awkward or you're just like not comfortable doing something, I challenge you to do it. But that's it. That's all we have for you guys. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Or what? Or you could just wear your gym clothes all the time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dress like a PT. That, that's, that's how I avoid, you know, wearing that stuff in the gym.